Ah, Santa Clara may be changing its name to Swifty Clara to celebrate Taylor Swift's concert a week from today, but the rules at Levi Stadium have fans seeing red. So the venue is cracking down on tailgating. It also set off a huge firestorm when it said it was banning friendship bracelets inside the concert. But as Lauren Toms reports, outraged fans got to the stadium to swiftly change course. Yes, yeah, some bad blood has made a pretty deep cut between Taylor Swift fans and Levi Stadium after the venue opted to ban an item that has become essential to this concert's experience. Now Levi's has since reversed the ban, but I spoke with one fan today who tells me that nothing is going to stop them from enjoying every aspect of this concert's experience. Audrey Crook has been making friendship bracelets since she was a kid, but today at 22, she's tapping into those skills all over again, but this time for Taylor Swift. I think it's so fun to be able to share something with strangers over like a common good. I hope to come home with bracelets that aren't mine. And it all stems from a song lyric in Swift's most recent album, Midnight's. In the song, You're On Your Own Kid, Swift says, make the friendship bracelets, take the moment and taste it. You've got no reason to be afraid. For Crook, like many other fans, this line hits different. I'm having a bracelet making party with my friends. So it's something I can do as a community, give them to other people in the same community and kind of just like get back in touch with your childhood roots, which is the age at which a lot of us kind of fell in love with Taylor Swift's music anyways. This lyric has led this youthful activity to become a theme through the tour with Swift fans making dozens of friendship bracelets, not only to wear, but to train. And here's like a little token of who I am. That way you can remember me, remember the experience and know that we kind of all have each other's back even if we're not always with each other. As Bay Area fans get closer to Swift's first performance in Santa Clara, this new tradition hangs in the balance. Levi Stadium announced a ban on the bracelets in the venue amid incidents of artists being hit by objects thrown by fans, as well as a ban on tailgating. But Crook says either issue have not been problems at Swift concerts, and therefore they should not be restricted. It's almost like taking out like an entire era out of the set list or something. It, it completely changes the energy. Really, the friendship bracelets is, I think, what made this all happen and what made us all want to be this big community for the tour. So taking that away, I think people would be connecting less. You wouldn't have as much of an excuse to go up to strangers. In a statement Friday, Levi's reversed the policy and said it will allow the bracelets into the venue, giving fans to live by the lyric of taking the moment. Now, Levi's is standing firm on their no tailgating policy for both nights of Taylor Swift's performances here at Levi's, but that comes with concern among concert goers who plan to be here for about eight hours. Fans start to line up around 3 p.m. and the concert's expected to end around 11 p.m. There are a couple of food options around here, but not much. So if you do plan on going, be sure to eat a big meal beforehand to sustain yourself for a long and what's expected to be a very eventful night ahead. Good advice. All right, heads up. BART plans to run extra trains for the concerts on Friday and Saturday. VTA will also have special event trains running late to help fans get to and from Levi's Stadium.